Welcome to Psych Insight, where we view the world through the lens of psychology. If you find this content helpful, please share, like, and subscribe to join our community and stay updated with our latest insights. Thank you for watching. I will never look at imposter syndrome the same way after learning this. This insidious feeling whispers that we're not good enough, that we're frauds destined to be exposed. It thrives in the shadows of greatness, feeding on our doubts and insecurities. When we witness the accomplishments of exceptional leaders, it's easy to feel inadequate. Imposter syndrome tells us we're not as smart, as capable, or as deserving of success as our predecessors. This self-doubt can be debilitating, preventing us from taking risks and pursuing opportunities for growth. We may downplay our accomplishments or attribute them to external factors. This internal struggle is often invisible to the outside world, masked by a veneer of competence and composure. Overcoming imposter syndrome requires a conscious effort to challenge these negative thought patterns. It's about embracing our unique skills and experiences and trusting our own judgment. The desire to please, to live up to the expectations set by a predecessor, can be a powerful force. It can also be a trap. When we focus solely on conforming to an established mold, we stifle our own creativity and limit our potential for growth. True leadership requires the courage to break free from convention, to challenge the status quo, and to forge a new path. Innovation often arises from a place of discomfort, from a willingness to question assumptions and to explore uncharted territory. The pressure to conform can be particularly intense when following a charismatic or visionary leader. To truly honor a legacy, we must be willing to adapt and evolve. We must be willing to ask ourselves tough questions. What are the challenges facing us today? What are the opportunities that lie ahead? The success of our predecessors often sets a bar that seems impossibly high. We are expected to not only maintain that level of achievement, but to surpass it. The weight of these expectations can be crushing, leading to feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt. It can also create a culture of fear, where people are afraid to take risks or to challenge the status quo. The problem with unrealistic expectations is that they are, by definition, unattainable. When we set the bar too high, we set ourselves up for failure. This can lead to a cycle of disappointment, where we are constantly striving for something that is always just out of reach. It's important to remember that success is not a linear progression. There will be ups and downs, setbacks and triumphs. The key is to focus on progress, not perfection. The story of Steve Ballmer's tenure at Microsoft offers a cautionary tale of the perils of following a legend. Ballmer, a longtime friend and confidant of Bill Gates, inherited a company at the pinnacle of its success. Yet, despite Ballmer's undeniable intellect and business acumen, his reign was marked by missed opportunities and a failure to adapt to the rapidly changing tech landscape. Ballmer's leadership style, characterized by his boisterous personality and aggressive tactics, stood in stark contrast to Gates's more cerebral and visionary approach. The rise of mobile computing, the growing popularity of open source software, and the emergence of cloud computing all presented existential threats to Microsoft's core businesses. Despite these challenges, Ballmer clung to the company's existing business model. The result was a period of stagnation and decline for Microsoft. Ballmer's experience highlights the dangers of complacency and the importance of adaptability in leadership. In stark contrast to Ballmer's struggles, Tim Cook's leadership at Apple demonstrates how a successor can successfully navigate the complexities of inheriting a legendary mantle. Assuming the reins from Steve Jobs, a visionary widely regarded as a once-in-a-generation talent, seemed an insurmountable task. Yet, Cook, with his quiet demeanor and operational expertise, not only maintained Apple's trajectory, but propelled it to even greater heights. Cook, recognizing the profound impact of Jobs' legacy, wisely chose not to imitate his predecessor. Instead, he leveraged his own strengths, focusing on operational efficiency, supply chain management, and expanding Apple's global reach. Under Cook's leadership, Apple has continued to innovate, introducing new products like the Apple Watch and AirPods. He has also overseen the expansion of Apple's services business, which includes offerings like Apple Music, Apple Pay, and iCloud. Cook's success lies in his ability to balance continuity with change. 
The pressure to emulate a predecessor's leadership style can be immense, yet authenticity is crucial for success. Trying to be someone we're not is unsustainable and ultimately ineffective. Authentic leadership requires embracing our individuality, drawing on our unique strengths, and leading from a place of genuine passion and purpose. Authenticity fosters trust. When we are genuine, people are more likely to connect with us, to believe in our vision, and to follow our lead. It allows us to build stronger relationships, which are essential for effective leadership. Moreover, authenticity breeds innovation. When we are not afraid to be ourselves, to express our ideas, and to challenge the status quo, we create an environment where creativity can flourish. Leading authentically requires self-awareness. Stepping into the shoes of a giant invites scrutiny. Every decision, every action, is analyzed and compared to the predecessor's track record. Criticism is inevitable, and often harsh. Developing resilience, the ability to bounce back from setbacks and maintain momentum in the face of adversity, is paramount. Resilience is not about being immune to pressure or criticism. It's about acknowledging the challenges, learning from our mistakes, and emerging stronger on the other side. One key aspect of resilience is developing a thick skin. Not every criticism will be constructive or well-intentioned. It's essential to develop the ability to discern between valuable feedback and noise that serves no purpose. Resilience also requires building a strong support system. The journey of succeeding a great leader is ultimately about forging our own path. It's about honoring the legacy we've inherited while having the courage to chart a new course, one that reflects our own unique vision and leadership style. We must move beyond the pressure of filling someone else's shoes and focus instead on the opportunity to make our own mark. It's about recognizing that leadership is not about imitation, but about innovation, inspiration, and impact. The key lies in embracing our own strengths, our own passions, and our own vision for the future. It's about trusting our instincts, taking calculated risks, and never being afraid to fail. Stepping out of the shadows can be daunting, but it's also incredibly liberating. It allows us to bring our whole selves to the table, to lead with passion and purpose, and to create a legacy that is uniquely our own.